hello internet welcome to another antenna tutorial in this tutorial I want to discuss about three different types of antenna arrays these are broadside array binomial array and dog Chebyshev array now please understand all these arrays are examples of collinear arrays by collinear array we mean that the spacing between the elements will remain the same now if we design a four element antenna array the spacing between all the four elements are going to be uh, same or uniform for example if we choose the spacing to be equivalent to lambda by 2 so it is going to remain lambda by 2 between all the elements now broadside is an example of the simplest array that we can make by using all active elements now if we have four elements one two three four all of them are active in case of broadside array by active elements we mean that all the elements are going to be supplied with the same amount of energy or power now if we progress on to make a binomial array we should understand why do we make it in the first place now if you look at the radiation pattern of a broadside array it is going to look something like this now we have major lobes at 90 degrees and 270 degrees and we have side lobes occurring at different angles depending upon how many elements do we use now it is very important to understand why we make a binomial array in the first place in order to eliminate these side lobes we make use of an array that has uniform spacing but the energy distribution is not the same for example if we want to make a binomial array of four elements we are going to use the Pascal's triangle to calculate the energy distribution something like this so we can go on to make a Pascal triangle and this is one element this is two element this is three element this is four and this is five so if you want to make a four element broad a binomial array we'll need to distribute the energies or the power supplies to the active elements in this proportion 1 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 so the elements along the ends will have energy let us say 100 watts and these are going to have 300 watts 300 watts and 100 watts again so the distribution of energy is governed by the coefficients as calculated by the Pascal triangle uh, as we increase the number of elements there is a huge mismatch of energy difference so for example if we go on to make a six element array so you can see the difference between the element at the extreme end 
and the element right in the center is almost 10 times so that difference becomes unmanageable at times but the best part is in binomial array we get the radiation pattern to be absolutely free of side lobes so that is why we make a binomial array now there is a solution um, to this huge energy mismatch and getting rid of this side lobes which is given by Dolph Chebyshev array this array is again an example of a collinear array the spacing remains the same for example we have four different <coughs> elements just give me a moment here all right <coughs> so we have four different elements here now <coughs> in Dolph Chebyshev array our main objective is to suppress the side lobes to certain extent for example we'll decide that our side lobes are going to be suppressed by 20 dB or 26 dB now this value will be given before we design it all Chebyshev array <coughs> these side lobes are going to be extremely small as compared to what we get in broadside array and having such small energy distribution in side lobes is <coughs> is manageable for any antenna design now what happens is we distribute the energies between the elements which is not governed by Pascal's triangle we calculate the coefficients for <coughs> every element in the array using Chebyshev polynomials now if you look at the calculations for a four element array the calculations gave us an idea that the distribution of energy is about something like this so if we are giving 100 watts to the elements at the extreme end we simply need to give 110 uh, to the elements in the center so the huge energy difference mismatch is taken care of in Dolce Chebyshev array and if you want to uh, see the detailed method of calculating these coefficients you could look up uh, my video on designing Dolph Chebyshev array and if you want to uh, understand how the side lobes are drawn at which angles you could look at my video on broadside versus end fire array this video was intended to highlight the difference between the three uh, main antenna arrays and I hope this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching this video if this video was helpful consider subscribing this channel have a good day and a good life bye